Hello, my name is Monica Cabrera Lucero, and this is a presentation for EDP 520 course. This presentation is based on the article to educate or to incarcerate factors in disproportionality in school discipline. The purpose of the study was to explore whether factors other than race, socioeconomic status of students, and gender contribute to the disproportionality of school discipline practices. The study examined individual factors which encompass academic engagement and mental health, family relationships, which involves parent level of engagement, alcohol or drug use, and family culture, and finally, demographic factors which involve parent level of education, race slash ethnicity, and gender. The study focuses on two key discipline practices, office referrals and suspension slash expulsion. The study answers the following questions. What individual and family factors are associated with school discipline? Do individual and family factors interact with parent education on the outcome of school discipline, suggesting a mechanism for disproportionality? The sample was comprised of 2,539 10th to 12th grade students in Southern California. The sample was representative of the over 200 participating schools population. In the next slide, I will explain how participants were recruited. Participants were part of a longitudinal study of student risk behavior. The current sample was in stage six of the longitudinal study. Parental consent was obtained. To collect data, participants were asked to complete multiple surveys that measure sociodemographic characteristics, individual risk factors, individual protective factors, and school discipline. A mental health inventory was used to assess whether mental health was a factor. A cultural value scale was used to examine family relationships. Analyzing data. To answer research question number one, researchers conducted multivariable logistic regressions on both forms of school discipline independently with the factors grouped into blocks based on their constructs. To answer research question number two, researchers tested interactions with each of the individual risk, individual protective, and family factors while controlling for covariance. The results are the following. Statistically significant effects were found for gender, race, and parent education to assist for office and suspension slash expulsion. The data revealed that Latinos were most likely to receive office referrals and African Americans were more like, most likely to be suspended or expelled. Boys were more likely than girls to receive office referrals and to be suspended slash expelled. Students who had parents with lower educational levels were more likely to be suspended slash expelled. Additionally, previous delinquency increased the likelihood of office referrals and suspension slash expulsion. Greater academic engagement were associated with lower possibility of office referrals and suspension slash expulsion. The study found that there's a strong association of factors, including race slash ethnicity, parental education, gender, academic engagement involvement, and delinquency with two key discipline practices, office referrals and suspension slash expulsion. The results of this study point that students were more likely to report an office referral if they had been involved in more delinquency during the prior year, had lower academic preparedness, and had spent less hours doing homework. The researchers also found that African-American students were more likely to be suspended or expelled, but researchers did not find that they were more significantly more likely than other racial groups to report an office referral. Finally, researchers discussed that other studies have found that students who reported depressive symptoms were more likely to be suspended. Researchers indicate the following limitations. Measure for mental health may not have captured severity of symptoms. Small sample of African-American students and reliance on self-reported data, did not study school-level factors, and finally did not include disability as a factor. Researchers conclude their study by providing the following suggestions. Future studies could explore mental health more thoroughly. 
The study emphasizes the need to promote student academic engagement. School districts should address inequity in discipline policies, and school districts should better train teachers and administrators to provide appropriate positive student behavioral interventions. And lastly, here's my reference page.